Well, over the past several months, Lordstown Motors has released videos, short updates on the progress of its new all-electric endurance pickup truck. Late last week, another video was released, and today I talked with CEO Steve Burns about the status of production. Hi, I'm Steve Burns. I'm CEO of Lordstown Motors, and uh, we've got a treat for you guys today. The treat in the latest Lordstown Motors video was a full view of the Alpha chassis of what will be the all-electric endurance pickup truck. This is the battery uh, located low for great handling and safety. With techno music in the background, the video then showed Burns driving the Alpha chassis on the test track at the Lordstown plant over bumps and potholes filled with water and along a snow-filled path. The purpose, to test durability and to better explain how it operates. We're still having a hard time getting people to envision what a hub motor is. You know, it's so different. So here, naked, as, you say, as we say, without a body on it, you can see it all. It was late June that Vice President Mike Pence showed up to unveil the prototype Endurance, which is today traveling the country as a sales tool. Two weeks later, we saw the robotics at work inside what was the General Motors Lordstown plant. So where is Lordstown Motors today? We're over 300 employees now, plus 150 contractors. Most of those 150 contractors are in here banging on the factory. I stamped our first parts the other day from, you know, starting to, to make fenders and that sort of thing. So we are, uh, it, not to say it's trivial, uh, not to say it's not going to take a lot of work, but we are on course for September. September is when production of the Endurance is expected to begin. By that point, Burns expects to employ 1,500 people, a lot of them from out of state. And I thought that would be the major bump, is getting people to move from Lordstown, Ohio. We're getting people from all over the country coming here. And uh, um, so it's, it's happening. Also today, the state of Ohio, through the Ohio Tax Credit Authority, approved $20 million in tax credits to Lordstown Motors. Should company officials do as promised, like create 1,570 full-time jobs and $91 million in annual payroll by 2025.